not quite ready for the post-final disco yet, but we're not too far away. It's 9-6 to Mark Allen against Ricky Walden. He needs one. Walden needs all four. In what's been a, a, an edgy, dramatic final at times, really high quality at times, really tense. Exactly what you want, really, from a major snooker final. But Allen, having won the two frames since the interval, is uh, now just one away from that victory. Okay, Mark. Thank you, frame 16. One more to win it then, Mark and get his hands on that trophy. <laughs> Mark Allen, the world number 10 from Antrim in Northern Ireland, looking for one more frame. Ricky Walden, the world number 11 from Chester in England, looking for a comeback. Yes, a few anxious looks there because he knew he'd just hit that cue ball just a little slow. But it's OK, especially if this red is straight to the right corner. No value in taking that one on. Black and pink tied up. He played a similar shot to this. One of the earlier frames. Oh, it's close. Oh, whispers around the crowd then. What this event has proved once again, though, is the, the variety that there is in the game. Two players we haven't seen in a final for a while. Last time it was Murphy and Bingham. Welsh Open, it was Ronnie, of course. Ronnie O'Sullivan, Neil Robertson. There's a lot of people who really showcase this game at its best in these big tournaments. Saw Neil Robertson in the early part of the season. John Higgins as well, been winning tournaments. Kyron Wilson came through the pack. That's why the World Championship is going to be fascinating. So many players will be going there confident of doing well at Sheffield. Well, normally so good at that shot. Where's it going to finish? Wow. Raise of the hand. Because that could very well have been his last shot. Had Mark Allen been able to see a red to pot it. Caught the wrong side of the red. And it could have gone anywhere. Here we go, he's putting the rest on the spider. Yeah, I think that's an easy way of playing the shot with the spider. Couldn't get high enough with the normal spider. could be tempted by this red because the safety is difficult.
just a little sticking out. Can he pot this? He's fortunate if he's got that safe because he caught it much too hard. Well, Callum was desperate there to have a look. Fractions again. Doesn't look like he can get it from there. Thinking of trying to swerve around the red. Is he, he's not in a position really to take undue risks. Nine six down. That's cleared the black area. The jaws of the yellow pocket will cover the red near the middle pocket. Mark's wife, Kyla, still watching. I wonder if she's got any fingernails left, or have they all been bitten to the quick? It's the same, of uh, course, for supporters of Ricky. Some family members can't bear to watch at all. Ken Doherty's mother, famously, when he was in the world final against Hendry, had to go out. Just couldn't watch, too nervous. He's got the cannon. Now, is he going to get lucky again? He has. Wow. Two large amounts of luck there. First one win. Went for that long pot, and you need a bit. Uh, 
Oh, that's a great shot. That could be the winning shot. Well, that's the curious thing. I mean, Walden got lucky, but because basically the element of choice was taken away from Alan, he was basically forced into that, and because of that, there was he, he knocked it in. It's, it's funny how it works out again. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> he had to take it on. There was nothing else, was it? If there was another shot on, another pop maybe, or another safety or something, and he'd taken that red on, he might have missed it. That's the strange thing. Anyway, he's in. He's got a chance to win it. Eight. Nine. Well, now, does he play to go into the reds from the blue? 14. There is a loose one 15. he can play for. Oh, he's overhit it a little. But 20. if he can pot this, screw off the reds, he should be on the black or pink. Well, he had the angle to run it in. This is looking good for the Northern Irishman. Opening up a few more reds nicely on the black. Stunned to the cushion, leaves him on the two reds to the right corner. He's not had it easy his whole life, Mark Allen. He spoke actually just before this tournament. He did a piece on the official website, worldsnooger.com, talking about the depression that he's suffered in the past and just speaking out, hoping to help others. It is a lonely sport. It's an isolated sport. You're out there on your own. You have to be pretty insular, I think, to, to play the game. It's not like being part of a team. 29. But it's great if he does win here. It's great that his wife's here and other family members to share it with him. They'll be cheering on every ball here. Well, he's under hit that one. But he can take it to the yellow pocket. He knew it was in as soon as it hit it. Yeah, that confidence is back, isn't it? It'd gone walk about a little bit as Walden came back at him, but look at this. As you say, got up, knew it was in. He's going for the kill here. Well, he's thinking of playing the cannon to those three reds. Didn't catch them thick enough. But he's still on the red. And he's getting closer. Yes, the family getting excited. And again, if he can play the cannon to those three reds, just the right of the pink, he'd be on one to the left corner, one to the middle. It's whether he can get in enough into the cue ball. Yes, he's on the red. And might be able to stun on to the other red. All for the pink.
Yep. 51. Needs to slow down. Well, fortunately, he's on this red to the left corner. But just got a little bit too much adrenaline than in that last shot. Fifty-nine. Well, it's understandable. It's been uh, quite a day, quite a battle. Yes, and still not ideal. You like him a little bit easier than this. Now, oh, didn't want the kiss. He thought he could have avoided it. Just playing it plain ball. 64. So not over yet. Still got a pot on. Can play for the yellow. <laughs> yes, great shot. And he's got the angle on the yellow to come back down the 65. table. He just doesn't want that cue ball to be dead under the cushion. Well, that's a cracking pot. It really is. And the yellow means Walden can only tie. So the key thing is pot this yellow. But what a great recovery that was. Yes, make sure of the yellow. Needs a kiss. And that wasn't the best kiss. 67. <laughs> so he leads by 67. There's 67 still available. Well, he mustn't leave an angle on this free red to allow Walden to play for the black. And that had gone the other side of the table, so they can't get to the black. Touch and ball. Got to cover that red. Mark Allen, 67. Got to cover that red. Well, he's close, but he's not quite there yet. Walden, as it stands, can tie with blacks. Well, he's left him a chance at this red. Oh, Foul. wait for oh, it. Oh, dear. Well, that's it. It's over Foul. now. Yeah, he's, he's left the red on. He's gone in off. He needs to because he's not going to get the chance for them. That's a shame that it's ended like that for him because he's battled so hard all week here and he seemed to have won a big frame the one before the interval remember he was 7-3 down that frame got him to 7-6 just couldn't quite press on and look at that for a celebration look at that for a celebration from Mark Allen that's just a release of tension these tournaments are hard to win and you can't blame him for celebrating six He was in early trouble. He trailed 3 1. He won a big seventh frame. That was to lead 4 3. Led 7 3. Walden pegged him back to 7 6. But he's finished well. Mark Allen, the man they call the pistol. Some sharp shooting at the end of this match. And his family. 
suddenly they're not so nervous, are they? They're just enjoying this. 23. Ready to celebrate with this very talented Northern Irishman. This is his third world ranking title, but his first in the UK, the first where he's had his family with him. 28. Twenty-nine. Mark Allen, twenty-nine. Mark Allen beats Ricky Walden by ten frames to six to win the Players' Championship. It turned into a real battle. At one stage, he was flying, leading seven-three. But it's even more sweet because Walden pushed him so hard, and he collects the hundred thousand pounds first prize here in Manchester. Mark Allen not in China, but he goes to the World Championship now full of confidence.